So what's up, y'all? Just uh, I just got back from Sprouts and uh, picking up my, I guess you say my um, the foods that I've been craving. I did a lot better this time. I didn't get any Oreos or I didn't get any, a ton of junk food and fruit snacks and all this BS. So um, I feel a little good about a little bit better than what I did last year. So let me show you what I got. Here it is. So, starting off with, uh, these are like chocolate covered uh, pretzels and uh, chocolate covered almonds and peanuts. So, uh, these are all pretty much nuts and uh, good carbs, they're just covered in chocolate. Um, so, I mean, it's not terrible. I mean, it's not, it's not just the healthiest thing in the world, but it's not, it's not terrible either. I'm not gonna eat it all at once, obviously. Um, we uh, I plan on eating this throughout the month. Uh, I also got some brownie bites from Sprouts. So uh, no artificial flavors, colors, or preservatives. So uh, these are actually um, a better choice than you know the little Debbie brownies that I got last time. As you can see, they are 160 calories, 22 grams of carbs, carbs, one gram of protein and it's two brownies per serving. So two of these is only 160 calories and 20. Um, then I got some peanut butter and chocolate trail mix. I love these things, man. These things are delicious. So peanuts, chocolate, and these little mini little Reese's looking things, uh, amazing. So I got this, uh, the calorie content on this is uh, 22 calories, uh, a fourth of a cup, and 19 grams of carbs, okay? So, and only five, uh, fit, total fat of 15 grams of fat. So again, not bad, pretty much just nuts and chocolate. Uh, I indulged a little bit here. These are chocolate chip cookies, but uh, they're made with whole wheat flour. So sprouts, and they have uh, 160 calories. Um, one cookie is 160, so that's pretty high. Uh, chocolate and peanut butter. When I'm on this diet, that's all I crave. My kitty food, so I got some sour worms and some gummy bears. So not the, what they call, habaro, but they'll get the job done. Uh, calories is uh, zero grams of fat. Didn't know that. 90 calories, eight pieces, 21 grams of carbs. So 21 of these is 20, uh, 20 I'm sorry, eight. Gummy bears equal 21 grams of carbs, zero fat. I, I had a craving for cereal. I didn't get the big box, I just got like a little one of these. So whole grain, Cheerios, and some cinnamon toast crunch. That's all I got. I got some Reese's Crunchers. Stephanie had bought these one day and I never had them and I ate one and man, I fell in love. So better choices in moderation. The good pal, the naughty pal. All right, guys, so it is 4.58 and I am about to weigh in. I'm pretty much just been relaxing and kind of just chilling around the house, getting things prepared for tomorrow. Um, I actually, while getting ready for this show, I actually had a an investor call me about a house that he wanted to get rid of. and work some things out. So I may be getting another house soon. So stay tuned for that episode. Usually between the two, there's about a pound or half a pound in between. But as long as I'm 190, in between somewhere and 190, it doesn't matter, I'm good to go. So again, I gotta hit 190. 190.4. Let's check the other. That's 191. So, not quite 190 on the black one, but I'm 190 on this on this one here. I'm gonna go back to this black one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take an Epsom salt bath to help me uh, dry out a little bit more. So I just took my Epsom salt bath to lose an extra pound. Your boy's good. Check this out. All right, scale number one says 
289.2. Scale number two says 289.4. Your boy has made weight. So what I have to do now is pretty much keep this weight off for the next 45 minutes and I am going to weigh in. Then I gotta get a 10, believe it or not. I mean, some people say you're black, but I gotta get a 10. And there's a whole story around that, but I'll get to it. So I gotta get a 10, then um, I gotta load up on carbs. I gotta fill out. What that means that right now, some of y'all can't really tell, but this is what you call flat. Meaning like my chest is not popping out. My abs are not popping out. I don't mean fat, but I need to be fuller. I need to be swoller. So I'll still have all the cuts, but I will look more full and more rounder and uh, a lot more defined. So stay tuned for that and uh, just follow me to weigh-ins. So I'm on my way to check-in. I got to wear loose fit clothing so I can um, get spray tan and it won't stick on me. So. Got to just a little bit comfortable, though. So, but uh, this is what I'm rocking. Nothing special, gym bag. Got my meal over there, so I got to eat right after I finish. Uh, so what's good, y'all? Just weighed in. Um, I weighed in at 189 on the dot. But they tried to play me because for my height, which is 5'8 and a quarter, I have to be 190 or below. Well, they got my height and they were like, you're 5'7. Like, no, I'm not. Where'd you get that? I'm short, but I ain't that short. It's like, you know, you're 5'7", so it's like you need to stand up tall, look straight. And I was like, all right. So I did. I guess I wasn't standing tall enough the first time. And it's like, okay, you're 5'8 and a quarter. I'm like, how the hell you get 5'7"? Seven? 5'7", five, seven. really? Anyway, so I made weight, made my height, got my, my, my buttons and whatever else I have to get. So now... I gotta wait to get a tan. Well, I gotta eat first, then I gotta get a tan, and then call my coach and let them know what's going on from there. So, see you later. So, about to get a tan here. It is almost eight o'clock. Getting kind of sleepy, but gotta get the tan. I'll be a little darker. Here are, here are the tanning stations. So it's 10.50, I'm about to eat my last meal, which is a carbo sodium high meal. Uh, what this is for is that right now I'm still kind of flat. I need to fill out, I need to be full. Not full like in food full, but my muscles, my body need to look fuller and not so skinny. So isn't that strange? Like I do all this work to get skinny, now I need to put back on some weight. So I made my class, I made my weight, now I need to put back on weight, kind of like boxers, you know, how they weigh in the night before. And then when they, do, you know, for fight night, they're like 10 pounds heavier. That's pretty much what I'm doing. So my coach wanted me to go get a burger and fries, but by my house is nothing but food, fast food places, McDonald's, and now whatever. So the closest thing to a gourmet burger would be Denny's. And they actually got some pretty decent burgers, so I'm about to get a, I'm about to tear this burger and fries up, and uh, I'll show you what I mean. Good old Denny's. Shout out to Denny's. I'm about to tear this Denny's burger up, y'all. It's about to go down. This is my carb load meal. <laughs> Two patties with a egg and bacon, some fries, two oil fries. So I sent this plate of food to my coach and I said, Is this good enough? He's like, Eat that bitch. <laughs> Excuse my language. I hear you breathe, but I can't see. If you're right here next to me, something's wrong, wasn't it fun? Is it now we're